Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I will give you the most simple and most effective explanation for artificial neuron. How is it and what is the equation? Eventually, what is the limitation? It is took just few minutes. In this discussion, we take the most simple two impulse linear classification problem, which is the bipolar or patterns. In matrix point of view, there are two inputs. When one of them is positive, the output is positive. Briefly, you can see there are two classes. Class red color, both are negative, so the output is also negative. While the other three points, because at least one of them is positive, therefore the output Y also positive. Okay, so we put color just to make yourself understand when we go to the geometry coordinate this is the geometrical representation of the xy matrix the all pattern where the negative one and negative one in the left bottom corner in red color while the other three points in the other three corners which is blue color now from geometrical point of view the classification is actually the separation line where we need to draw a straight line that capable of putting the blue color in one group while the red color in the other group okay to do that basically it's not that difficult we just have to be sure somewhere somewhere over here there is a line assume there is a green color separation line can be here why not it can be here to be true to be fair it can be anywhere as long as it can separate the blue lines three blue lines from the red lines so how so how do we actually get the lines so that it do the jobs where blue together with blue separate from the from the red the easiest way is to identify the equation for these uh, straight lines that goes back to the geometry coordinate okay and another way to do it is using neuron learning concept identify the parameters we will come back to here once we get the parameter of the green straight lines this is a structure of a neuron it consists of input x in this case two input for the two bit or patterns each input is connected to a uh, weights labu or so called knowledge labu1 and labu2 there is a b independent weights is one knowledge as well or sometimes we call it bias okay b bias while well, y is the output the equation to calculate the y is straightforward we have a uh, sum of xi labu i plus the b or in matrix form in matrix form y equals to x matrix multiply w matrix plus b matrix so b matrix is easiest uh, you have four small bias, bias small b while w matrix depending to the uh, w1 and w2 at this moment we do not know what is w1 or w2 okay the mathematic process of finding the best ways and bias based on given historical data sets is so-called training or learning for a neuron or for a neural network this process is actually same as finding the equation of the separation line in terms of geometry coordinates X. now in obtain b is straightforward we just have to get the average of y okay in this case we have four y's one negative the other three are positive we sum together, divide by the 4, and we get 0 0.5. Once we get 0 0.5, we know the B matrix is 4 row, 1 column. All numbers inside are the same, 0 0.5. To get W, it requires some simple uh, matrix algebra. Okay, So, uh, we know Y equals to X W plus B. By the matrix derivation, we know W is X inverse Y minus B. Now we have Y and B, no problem. So again, to find Y minus B is straightforward. Okay, 
uh, this is a Y matrix given uh, at the beginning of the video. Uh, the color, red color or uh, blue color is not important because now we are doing minus, so everything is the same color. So, so labu can be found by the x inverse y minus b. For the knowledge on how to calculate pseudo inverse matrix and solve this problem for a uh, asymmetrical matrix, you may see my previous uh, video at this link. On the other hand, uh, if you want to know the details explanation of pseudo inverse matrix uh, in Wolfram Alpha, and uh, we will solve this problem without calculation by hand and without programming, you may see my previous video in this uh, link. Of course, you may find the links for both video under the description of this uh, YouTube video. Now we go to browser, type. Wolfram Alpha. So this is the homepage URL. Homepage URL. When we enter Wolfram Alpha in the main text, we type uh, matrix multiplication calculator. Enter or click the equal button. So it came out an example how can we multiply two matrix 1 and two matrix 2 and get the result. Of course, this is not our matrix. So we need to we need to enter our matrix. In our case, this is our matrix, pseudo inverse of this matrix, multiply another matrix. So let's do it. For the matrix 1, we need to type pseudo inverse. A matrix symbol the first row which is negative 1 and negative 1 the second row which is negative 1 and positive 1 the third row positive 1 and negative 1 finally the last row is positive 1 and positive 1 meanwhile for matrix 2 we have a negative 1.5 we have a uh, first row negative 1.5 okay second row positive 0 0.5 third row positive 0 0.5 and last row positive 0 0.5 this is the same as our pseudo inverse of this matrix and the multiply with the second matrix so let's see uh, the result by click on the compute button okay within few seconds the compute button will give us a result labu which is labu1 equals to 0 0.5 and labu2 equals to 0 0.5 so this is a process of Wolfram Alpha as well as a matrix need to be entered into the Wolfram Alpha this is a result. All this we obtain just now from the wolframalpha.com. Okay. Now we replace the value of W1, W2, and B into the equation of neuron. This is the equation we get. It is a linear equation. Linear equation or linear lines. Okay. So this line is actually the separation line. Okay. Let's assume it's green color. We will see how it's a green color letter or you can see in the previous discussion. Okay. So in the case, this equation is exactly equal to zero. We have 0 0.5 plus x1 plus 0 0.5 x multiply x2 plus 0 0.5 or which is you have another simplified equation x1 plus x2 plus 1 equals to zero. This is a line exactly in between uh, uh, red and blue so no decision exactly on this line it is zero exactly in between blue or red so no decision okay on the other hand in the left left below corner okay it is smaller than zero therefore it belongs to red color so this case in the second case for third case the right above side which is bigger than zero so therefore it is belong to blue color okay so let's see how it works in terms of geometry coordinates from the learning of the neuron we found that the line is on the 
y equals to 0.5 x1 plus 0.5 x2 plus 0.5 when y equals to 0 the equation become x1 plus x2 plus 1 equal to 0 that give us the equation for this line okay it give us the equation for this line where you go through go through uh, y equals to negative 1 and the slope is negative 1 so this is the line here x1 plus x2 plus 1 equals to 0 so this is a separation line between the blue and the red so after this we can safely draw as red color for any any points below the green line this is all red color okay okay let me remove the equation or we can draw blue line for any points above on the line so classification has been done the linear classification has been done okay on the green line it is exactly zero so usually it is neutral H however as a human nature most of the time we assume zero is positive side so therefore if you draw the line in blue color it is acceptable as well so far we demonstrated that artificial neuron can be useful but only capable of solving linear data only while most of the real world problems are non-linear therefore we need to improve from single neuron to many neurons that are connected in layers which is artificial neural network okay in the next two three videos i will explain maglev programming codes for linear classification and concept of neural network for solving real world non-linear problem okay if you like this video please subscribe like and share okay you may comment as well on the bottom of the video thank you very much i see you in the next video